Imagine having the time of your life studying abroad in Europe, but then the coronavirus hits and you have just hours to get out of Poland. That's what happened to my cousin's daughter, a UT student who is now back in Monroe after a pretty rough experience. Joining me now from Skype is Helene Seaver with quite a story to tell. Helene, good morning. Thanks for joining us. So glad you are back home in Monroe. So explain to everybody, when did you get word that you had to get out of Poland and, and what was that like? I think it was Friday night. We heard that Poland was closing their borders Sunday at midnight. So we had 24 hours to get out. It's pretty crazy. And here you are. You're 19 years old. You're away from home. You eventually or originally went from UT to Poland. You got to see a lot of Europe, but then you had to fly to Frankfurt, Germany, and then into Chicago to get home. We have a map here kind of showing everywhere that uh, you went during this whole trip. Did this uh, sour the experience for you, or were you just ready to get home at that point? It soured the end of it, but I'm just going to let the journey home be the journey home and not let it ruin the two months before. And it was a crazy journey, definitely. Yeah. And this all happened so fast. Uh, because of the coronavirus, they were closing the borders there in Poland. As a 19-year-old, how did you deal with the emotions of this? You know, it's hard enough for us back here in the States to deal with all these changes and, and how our lives have been turned upside down. How did you get through this? Uh, there were a lot of tears, but I had two other Americans with me, Bree and Brian, and so the three of us stuck together, and we were there were lots of hugs given out, and when I needed comfort, they were there for me, and then when they needed it, I was able to give it back to them. So the three of us all supported each other throughout our journey. That sure helped. And Helene, we, we saw that one picture where you arrived at O'Hare in Chicago where your mom, Jill, my cousin, was there to uh, greet you. And you just see the feeling of relief just from uh, looking at that picture. How did that feel when, when you saw your mom and, and you knew you were home? Just utter relief. I was, I was finally home. All we kept saying was, OK, let's get to America. Let's get to America. And it, it was every baby step. OK, first, let's get to Warsaw. OK, let's get to Frankfurt. OK, let's get to Chicago. OK, now we got to get through all these lines. OK, there's my mom. Oh, we're finally back yeah. on U.S. soil. It was just it was the greatest feeling. And Helene, one more question. We know you are home in Monroe. You are not sick with coronavirus, but you have to be quarantined for 14 days, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. How are you dealing with that? Um, it's only been today's day two, so it's going OK, but um, start putting a goal for every day. So today I think I'm going to update my blog and I don't know what I'm going to do the next 12 days, but I'll figure it out. All right. I'm sure UT has some work they would like you to get done. So Helene Seaver, <laughs> thanks so much. Uh, always great to talk to family and glad you are back safe. And, and thanks for getting up early and, and sharing your story with us. Glad you're back home. Me too. All right.